All right. Here we are. Game seven. Curse of Strahd. Woo! Let's just do it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, because I got nothing. So <laughs> it's all bullshit from here on out. Uh, okay, <laughs> welcome back, everybody. Game seven. Um, let's round up what happened last time real quick. So in game six, the party set out from Valakai, and they decided they were going to go ahead and get the wine for the Mardikoff family, and uh, hopefully that uh, endears them to the ravens so that they can go find some item they think is hidden somewhere by the ravens. They don't know specifics yet. We'll find out. Uh, they took the cart and the horses and headed out. And decided to go to Kresk instead. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of, let's do this. This is fun. For anyone who's never seen the map of Perovia before, it's insane to look at. They started here. And instead of going down here, they went here. We have a lot of places to stop on this you have a, Yeah, there's a lot of things that's happened. So they took a nice long kind of detour. We don't um, want to be driving the wine everywhere with us. No, this that's fair. Much. But you do have an empty wagon and horses you're responsible for until you get them back. So we're responsible for those. Guys? I know, I know, them. Right? And it's funny now. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, you're muted. Okay, that wagon and horses are not coming back. <laughs> not happening. I'm sorry, I'm going to reconnect everybody's cameras here. Here we go. That's better. Steve, where'd your camera go? Run. Okay. I'm trying to yeah, just, I'm trying God, it. while we go. No, it's all good. It's all good. So There it is. I fixed it. You fixed yes. it. What up? What up? See, now I can't I'm see so you. I'm so fucking smart. I'm a genius. Yeah, the mighty have to be that was better. Okay. So you headed to Kresk. Um, things got weird in Kresk. <laughs> Real quick. Um, they discovered that the abbot, who they were hoping to speak with, is a little cuckoo pants. Um, and is making people. He's pulling a Dr. Frankenstein. He's making people. That's fun. That's fun. Uh, he made a, a, a person that he was hoping to give Strahd that... Alistair or Torres charmed their way into taking. Her name is Vasilia. Um, she is a considered to be at, right now a flesh golem. So um, she has some um, components like that. She is pieced together. It's creepy as fuck. Um, and you also met a young woman, uh, Vistani, named Esmeralda. She was talking to the abbot about something. You haven't quite um, talked to her much yet about what that was or really sussed that out. Uh, and she left with you, curious as to who these newcomer adventurers were and if they would be maybe helpful in her cause as well. So unless you want to stay in Crazy Town, um, that's it's down the road from Flavor Town, so this is Crazy Town. The... <laughs> Let's go to Flavor Town. Go to Flavor Town. That's outside of Barovia. <laughs> I don't want to go to Flavor Town. I know who lives there. <laughs> He's actually a good guy. Um, I don't doubt it. He just looks like such a douche. He could be the nicest person in the world, but I'd still. Oh, see he Frosted donated Nixon. like twenty million dollars to the COVID um, recovery. Oh, I'm gonna, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. stop. You might want to stop, buddy. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, looks aren't aren't everything. Um, so oh. I'm gonna put you all. Unless you want to stay here, I'm gonna put you all back on the road. Someone broke down. I think we decided to just get the hell get out. Get the, the hell town. out. Yeah, because there was talk like we're gonna breach the abbey and we're gonna blow <laughs> shit up, and then Alistair and her tourists come running out with a flesh golem like we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. <laughs> yep. Can't trust this guy alone. Mm -mm. I, yeah, I think. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. Hey, there what it is. What is against religion, though? Like, we almost blew up the one church. Like, we're at an abbey <laughs> here, and we're like, hey. You have Adam in the party. That's the problem. Yes. Yeah. But I want to point out, I stopped you from blowing up a church. It wasn't because it was a church. It was because it was covered in bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear. 
content of the building had nothing to do with it. <laughs> so I'll give you a, a day out. We'll say first night making camp. You get about 15 miles down the road, headed back toward where you know the crossing is at R um, to let you go south to the Wizard of Wines. So we'll say you're in camp. Is there anything you want to do? Esmeralda is there. She's been pretty quiet. She's keeping her distance from Vasilia. You have noticed that. <clears throat> well, um, if we are one day out from camp uh, yesterday, I put three glyphs in my book. <laughs> and that's point, what i'm doing wonder, right now <laughs> at some point i wonder if the book is gonna break down because it I... can't hold i mean he is holding a pocket nuke i see nothing i see no reason why that would happen <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that in my best no. DM response. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I recognize I that tone. <laughs> oh no! You don't see anything. Nope. Yeah, um, you don't. There's nothing there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm All right. Keep so that three, more. three more. Um, okay. You hope you're keeping track because I'm I sure as hell I am accounting. Okay. I am accounting. Got it. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah, you make camp and. Mm -hmm. It is very cold. Uh, this part of Barovia Far West, because you are closer to, and I'll give you this little bit of the map, you're closer to uh, Mount Gacchus. And so this elevation, sorry, motorcycle, because apparently that's happening today. Um, <laughs> God damn it. This, Barovia. this elevation, wow. Strahd rides a Harley, you know that. Um, <laughs> this elevation here is where uh, the Zelenka Pass starts. And that starts to lead you, it's like climbing a mountain. So the further south you get, the deeper you get into the mountains and the colder it gets. So the weather here is starting to look a little iffy at this point. Um, it's, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I was going <laughs> to say murder, but yep. Oh. Um, so, on <laughs> so you're camped. Um, you've anchored tents and that kind of thing against the wind and the snow, but staying outside for too long probably isn't the best idea. Is search for some holly bushes to harvest some uh, leaves. Oh, yes, your druids of the path. The path! The path! <laughs> I, 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 for that, I would transform into like an Arctic wolf or something, so I don't freeze and die. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, you could definitely do that. So yeah, so go ahead and make a. I'll let you use your sense of smell as a wolf, so it lends you advantage. So perception check with advantage. While he's doing that on this second night, I'm gonna go ahead and put more but more runes. <laughs> yep. Of course. Uh, just so we're all clear, we're at 17 right now. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I have a 21. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the so snow here you... is like this thick. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say that because, you know, I'm such a tiny little person. I'm just going to scoot over to a Taurus and just bury myself in his fur. <laughs> because if I don't, I will die. <laughs> You know she's going to eat you. Uh, damn it. If I've made no promises. <laughs> well, uh... So you better feed me as well. Yeah, we did have to stop you from eating people that one time. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, if we don't if you don't feed me while it's cold, things are going to get bad. Oh I'm God. seriously starting to consider you like a gremlin, <laughs> like not like a like from the movie, though. Yeah. Right. Like not a D and D gremlin. Like yeah. if I get you wet after midnight, I am very concerned. <laughs> But, but I'm a cute, adorable little gremlin. Oh, I'm a good, pretty damn cute and adorable. You ever seen a gremlin? <laughs> <laughs> Until you piss it off. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so you don't so, feed it. Feed me up to midnight. <laughs> so, Urtoris, yes, you do manage to... It, it takes a little bit. You have to kind of pad through the snow. Um, but given your wolf form, you're able to do that much easier. Since they're acclimatized. Like with their head in the snow, like... Mm -hmm. Like a fox, just poop. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> like that. Uh, you do That's... manage to find... I will literally roll for it. Okay, so two 
like I would say like sprigs of holly like this big. I could that's just say it's five smokes now. Like I have three yeah. from the clan and five now. Okay. Each sprig is worth one consumption. Puff. Yeah. Puff, yes. And I'm gonna <laughs> Just for the hell of it, I'm going to use the Hans ability on Jezebel and give her the bear's endurance so she doesn't freeze. Oh, okay. Because, I, because it's a health constitution, so I hope it doesn't help with cold. If we have uh, to make yeah, exhaustion great. checks, yep. What that... question? Was the flesh, our flesh going wearing, wearing anything? I mean, Other yeah, than... she had a dress on. I'm going to ask her if she's cold. She just kind of looks, and, and well, she's you, you just been sitting the entire time. Like, if you told her to sit, she would sit. It's just, <laughs> this is this is a puppet. This doesn't, she has no sense of individuality or personality. She does what, and you you all, I'll say you all experimented with that a little bit. Like, if maybe if Honeycut told her to do something, she would do it. And then maybe if Adam tells her to do something, she would do it. Like, she has no master. She will just obey whoever tells her to do something which is I'm still interesting i'm still though uh worried that uh what's your frostbite is going to affect her as much as us um yeah you she she just looks at you and she says i'm fine I'm fair sure. enough going to the fire temporary okay okay um, for like one hour not that long Perfect. Uh, Esmeralda's been kind of watching this entire exchange, and she um, she kind of motions. Is he just backs away? She is like, yeah, she doesn't want to be anywhere near Vasilia. Um. So. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not super comfortable with it either. I. Uh, that's the problem. That's. I. I don't know why. What, what exactly are you doing with her? She has no value. She's just meat. Don't She's also a zombie. Of me. She looks very concerned what? when Jezebel says that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, don't say meat. It's just, she's pieced together from others. She's she's literally, she's a zombie. She points it at him. She's a zombie. She has no no sense of thought or self-preservation she would she would fight if you told her to fight she would fight until she fell apart adam kind of puts his hand up i think she's got a little more going on in the upstairs than your average zombie off the block but she's still a zombie we can save for a bit somehow i mean i, I work a lot with zombies, i mean so vasilia not... if i wrote you down some calculus could you integrate it for me <laughs> She turns and just kind of blinks at you. I don't know what that is. That's okay. You tried, Adam. You tried. Can we, can we teach you? Do you dream at night? I don't know what that is. Do you sleep? I don't know what that is. What do you... If I had a bag here where I could say, I'm going to reach in and pull out whatever you want, what would it be? Whatever you want. Zombie. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Adam goes back to working in his book. <laughs> Let's not all jump on the zombie train that fast. I mean, I don't want to jump. I, I just cuddle up somewhere. You know? I'll tell you what, friend. Let me kill you, cut you up, sew your body back together, and then reanimate you through necromancy. And then we'll discuss: Are you a zombie? <laughs> well, yeah. at least, at least, I invite me to dinner first. Sick bastard. <laughs> Adam chuckles and continues. If you want a zombie, I can make him. We already have a zombie. So we just, we just, we'll just keep an eye I, on her I and hope she doesn't crave arm. something. Because then I have to fight her for it. I'm gonna make an entire zombie army and rise against God. God. Did you say that out loud? Did you say that out loud? Uh, <laughs> in his head, Ertorius is having. I just, I just, I just, wolf. I just wolf. There you go. <laughs> that wolf sounded mighty suspicious. <laughs> like a dog who took a turd on a carpet and is trying to distract you. It's very specific. I like, I like, I 
just imagine this uh, wolf. Mavis likes to go woo, 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 at the window when she does that. Oh, of course. <laughs> look over here. Don't thing. look over here. Yeah, over there. Look over there. <laughs> I love being a stoic wolf. Just walk around wolf. I'm dog. And he doesn't. He doesn't actually sound like a wolf. He just says wolf. <laughs> um. Still, still, I think that we we can probably do something for. Her. Uh, if, uh, you have suggestions, Esmeralda. Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. uh, I've noticed uh, that death here in Barovia is not the same as outside of it. <laughs> uh, so what is it that? Way of saying it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I'm very smart. Hat <laughs> <laughs> on the head. <laughs> Uh, what is it that makes it so different, less permanent? Um, it depends on the general belief system, and she's kind of she's kind of eyeballing Vasilia as she says this. The general idea is that in Barovia, and Strahd has ruled here. Uh, that instead of those who believe in the Morning Lord, when they pass on, going to the Morning Lord's Haven, or if you believe in the Night Mother, going to her bog, the on and on, that souls will occasionally get stuck in the wheel. And when you get stuck in the wheel, you don't pass. You can actually come back. So there are those in Barovia who have lived over and over and over again and they won't be released until Strahd is dispatched Adam is nodding so, vigorously so it's like a wheel of fortune of hell <laughs> of purgatory basically mm -hmm. yeah so would you know somebody that could theoretically find a soul find a soul if you can find a, hold on a second. Let me see something here. She's a smart cookie, and then that's a natural twenty. Um... <laughs> Esmeralda is she's sharp. Um, she's a good one to have on your side for sure. Uh, she says, "I, I don't keep in contact with many other Vistani, but." You could probably find Madame Eva and have her check. Should I also um, try it once? Because, you know, I'm good with souls and undead. <laughs> I didn't know that. Now, please tell me more. I am a grave cleric. <laughs> I didn't know that. I mean, me he's more. good at burying people, I'm good at reviving them. Yeah, it's uh, that logic doesn't check, but okay. Um <laughs> the the system here is is very different than what you would be used to anywhere else. Um The multiverse hates Ravenloft. It hates it. Yeah, it things <laughs> With here every are, fiber of its being. Break r general rules and understanding that you would experience anywhere else. Um it's just I it's one thing to track it down. It's another thing to forcibly put it back into a mortal vessel. Just going to crack my knuckles. Let him take care of that. I'm going to point to that. <laughs> Adam, Adam kind of like looks over though, and, and he, when you say that, and he's like, "I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no." I don't like it. <laughs> to find the soul that's at least what you are proposing is finding a soul and shoving it back into a body to be re-brought back into the cycle of torture which defines ravenloft and not just for us or for them but for everybody including strat so essentially what you're asking me to do is knowingly torture someone when the more humane option would be to continue doing what we are doing Put Strahd down for long enough that it breaks this. I gotta, I gotta, like, this is like actual exposition. I can't do the voice. Nope, nope I'm doing it. Commit. Mm -hmm. The most logical option moving forward, of course, is to kill Strahd and then give whatever's trapped here, whoever's trapped here, time to slip the cage, so to speak, go back into the regular wheel and end up where they're supposed to go, not shove them back into a body so they're alive and Strahd has time to come on back. Because no matter what we do, 
the dark powers that really run this place ain't gonna let him be gone forever. That's a mm, 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 tasty soul they want to keep on to. So we've got a little bit of time where if we put him down, maybe she could just, you know, pass on to her eternal rest like she is supposed to. Of course, it doesn't matter. If she's going to a god, she's just going to get numbed up, tasty, juicy, dull, but whatever. I'm just suggesting the option that she uh, can choose for herself. Like, if she returns, she can but get you're a chance to she's not choosing everybody. for herself. You're choosing for her. Yeah. You so are forcing a choice of life onto her. So are you saying that we want to shove her soul back into her body and then ask her, do you want to be alive? And then we're going <laughs> to kill her? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> and Adam, Adam is like oh. just b baffled by that. Also, what you're <laughs> suggesting is like a true resurrection, which is a little beyond our purview right now. I have right faith now. in you, my friend. Adam like looks. I have faith in myself too, but uh, I also know how you know <laughs> everything. I know how like the universe works. <laughs> Uh, there's no role play way for me to say that's in like an eighth, ninth level spell, and it's not happening. <laughs> yep. Um, I was like, I'm getting stuff. Esmeralda's just kind of watching this, not amused, but very confused by the party dynamic for a second. She's like, uh -huh. I, uh, so. Are you really regretting this? Uh, no, not quite. It's a, um,. It's a weird thing because there there are spots in Barovia that, to my understanding and to my mentor's understanding, that Strahd doesn't go because they are still beacons of what existed prior. They're getting darker. They're starting to really wane. And one of them is this place I've been looking for. It's called the Shrine of the White Sun. Down. I don't, I don't think you've heard of it before. Uh, no, uh, well, it's it's supposedly it's one of the last true holy sites in Barovia. Um, Adam rolls his eyes at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, blessed by the Morning Lord, kept secret by a group of paladins, yada, yada, yada. I don't know about all of that, but I do think that it may be of interest, and I've been trying to locate it. And I was hoping the abbot, because he does have an extensive library, would have something on that. And he's clearly crazy, so I'm just <laughs> gonna go. I'll stay with you. Where are you headed? Wait, was that the reason why you were at the abbot's? Get into his library? I was trying to get at his library, yeah. Why didn't he let you? Oh, I barely Hulu got past the crazy. front door. <laughs> And then I saw her, points at Vasilia, and uh, realized he's crazy. Adam kind of like rubs his face. Well, you know how you deal with a crazy person. You kill you them. You out-crazy them. Well, that's one way. Or you just <laughs> out-crazy them. He's not wrong. <laughs> did, quit, did, did, I, did Adam meet the abbot? Was I there for that? No. No. Hmm. It's just yeah, Alistair you were, and you were, you were, uh, Well, uh, you know, I, I've been, uh, I think I can, I can fake this religion thing, right? Wait, we could go back and, go back? I mean, I could, we could, yeah, we, so, we would have to go back, like, on our way out, right? Like, we have to go kind of near the town on the way back to do everything else we gotta do. I was yeah. thinking that we could just deliver the wine, and then... <laughs> <laughs> the job we were supposed to do? <laughs> right, right. No, definitely. No, we're definitely going to do that first. I'm saying, like, when we, we're going to deliver the wine, but, like, we're going to have to come back, like, up this road, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm not saying do it right now. I'm saying maybe give the guy, like, a couple of days to cool off from stealing his property, and he, like, waves <laughs> over at the zombie. Um, well, he gave her. We didn't steal anything. Mm. Well, he might—he might have other other opinions on that. If we, if you turn back, yeah, I'm not going back there. Yeah, yeah I'm not asking say. you so, to. I'm... No, that's why maybe the others, me, Honeycutt, or maybe Adam, might have to mm -hmm. go. We might, <laughs> yeah, in in less like Bernie voice. 
I would like to swing back around when we have to pass by here anyway and see if I can out crazy the abbot into letting me go into his library. Oh, I'm sure you'll be able to do that. I'm kind of scared, but kind of amazed to see it. He's just going to get come in. He's going to walk in and go, Hooga Booga, show me your books. <laughs> <laughs> That's clearly the way to do it. I'm sure That's the abbot will be like, this That's is totally not... normal Never and reasonable. Here you go. I didn't tell and you the miracles go too crazy. Us. It's too crazy. We, we are it. supposed to go to the one that go hooga hooga hooga. Give me the books. I mean, Honestly, no one's tried do, it. Yeah, I'm gonna just go into his library and I'm gonna slip the doom tome in the shelves and leave. Oh god. Um. Oh. <laughs> yes. Please. Please do. And then, like a few a few weeks after, we just hear a big explosion. <laughs> No Adam's that, that kid, that meme kid standing out in front of the house on fire grinning. Yep. <laughs> Adam, is, Adam is the kid that goes into like the teacher's bathroom and he kept, takes ketchup packets and he like opens them very slightly and he puts them very Underneath delicately. The... Yep. Uh -huh. And then he just leaves and he waits wow. for the chaos. He doesn't wow. see it, but he knows that it happened. Yeah, when you hear the screaming. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. Okay. You, you guys thought I was dark? I look at- I- I point at Adam. Really? I don't know what a ketchup packet is. <laughs> I think you're I hearing voices in your head. Um, What's ketchup? I don't have ketchup in Barovia, I wanna get out of here. To kind of, like, refocus a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. The- is there anything else- Esmeralda has traveled Barovia quite a bit, so if there's something you wanna know or ask her about, I would recommend doing that. Oh, uh, Jezebel raises her hand, like eagerly, like a school child. Uh, sure. Think about food. No, no, shut up. Uh, can you tell me about, uh, do you know the Festival of Blazing Sun? I mean, uh, we heard some of it at Wallachy, but, uh, and now suddenly the guy who's running the place is a jerk, and he is oh, punishing his soldiers and stuff. Burgo Master, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, man, with cheese. I yeah, I yeah. yeah, I don't go to Valakai unless I absolutely have to stop for supplies, because it's just uh, I, I. He puts on these little parades to try to keep up morale. All will be well. All will be well. He's gonna wind up getting himself axed. Is it is it common that he punishes his soldier for for trying to protect land and then they treat because they were. Outnumbered. It didn't used to be, from my understanding. Years ago, he was actually a pretty calm, collected, uh, we'll use the word sane, person. Um, but power in Barovia tends to corrupt even faster. And when you add that to a natural tendency toward paranoia, uh, it's not a good mix. No. All right. <laughs> So, a uh, second question. So, is the flag of Barovia just a couple of scribbles written in circles by a crazy person? <laughs> I don't know. Because that, I, I kind of get the vibe. Yeah. I, I... At some point along the line, I... I need to find the Shrine of the White Sun, I need to find Van Richten, and we need to go to the castle and we need to kill Strahd. That's the whole goal. Same here. But first, do... deliver the wine. <laughs> That's on you. i raise my hand. i <laughs> raise my hand like Jezebel. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is weird. What do you know? We're in a class! <laughs> this is all my going... class now. It's called I'm Delivering going Exposition. Going yeah. <laughs> what do you know about uh, Archon's Wolf Holt. Oh, the, uh, Paladin place. Um, Paladin. it's probably oh. haunted. The weebs. Um, oh, if any of the, uh, the Paladins there still exist, I'd be careful. The, the talk is always that the grounds are haunted by, um, oh, how did they phrase that? Men who are not living and not dead. Zombies. Zombies. Mm, I don't know about that. Mm, you could be like halvesies. 
I think the word is revenant. Oh, shit. That's a cool Dude, word. Something like that. So if they do still walk the grounds, I mean, occasionally I have actually seen lone ones in the woods and they just, they, they wander with no purpose. They'll kill anything in their way. So I keep a wide berth, but um, if you go there, just be very careful. Thank you. Really good information. Thank you. I'll uh I'll probably stick with you until the crossroads, and then I'm gonna head up to Lake Baratok, uh, swing by uh, Van Richten's tower, and then I'm gonna head south. So if we bump into each other again, just be just uh, don't Van trust Richten. anybody. Van Richten, that was a paladin, right? Uh, my mentor. He's um Rudolf Van Richten. He's um. She kind of gets this weird look on her face for a second. Uh, he's well known in Barovia. He's one of the last few true vampire hunters. I'm gonna to take know. out my book. Did he wrote, write this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's his. <laughs> Aren't many copies left. You're lucky you got one. Do you think he will sign it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. If you can find him. <laughs> he um, What do you mean? He does this it's disappear? So and again that kind of like weird almost hesitant look comes over her face. No idea what's happening. He's a difficult man <laughs> to be around. It's very you do things his way and there's no room. For interpretation. So you can imagine that training under him is a very grueling process. We had words. Uh, I left. I took some of his gear. <laughs> nice. And I haven't seen him since. So. Why are you going to him now then? Part guilt. <laughs> Part, he's not getting any younger, and I worry that Strahd is just waiting until Van Richten's guard is down one day and takes him out. Uh, so, call me it, sentimental, but I'm worried. In your drills, uh, have you encountered many vampires? Just kind of squints at you. I'm going to smile. Is this, a, is this gonna be a pissing contest? It's like, I've killed so many. Ha ha. Bleh. Throw no, it on the table. Not at, not at all. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, it's Barovia. They exist. Uh, have you encountered a uh, dark haired woman with a scar on her cheek by any chance? Not a very good description. That's all I got, sorry. Human, goblin, vampire, what? Vampire. Just kind of looks at you for a second. Uh, yeah, there's one. Pretty vicious. She Do you know where she is? keeps around the castle. Uh, Raymond Mm hmm. It's a, it's a bride of Strahd. Shit. Oh, Kelly, you're in it. <laughs> I'm just gonna write in my notes. So many Shit. Oedipal problems here. <laughs> yep. So, <laughs> I'd probably just be writing in my notebook. Yep, yep. I knew it. I'm gonna write it down. I Jesus mean, steps, he goes through them until he gets bored. And then he turns them loose to terrorize some small village somewhere and burn it to the ground, and then we usually don't see them again. So if you see a feral woman walking around biting everyone, it's probably one of his. <laughs> you. That's good to know. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. That he fucking is. He's a oh, piece of shit. Fucking. I'm going to start a very long... Imm immersive curse word. <laughs> just Something very imaginative, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just I just, I, I, 
I look at a tourist. What's a taser? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, you're just wondering to the and cursing. What? What? What deal? Something we don't know? I think he's a zombie. Oh God. <laughs> oh my God. So, so he just came to bring the girls a fight? I don't know. That's funny. Maybe you should ask him. Um. I heard that, Jesse. No. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Just, just, just give me your conversation. Give me your map. Me I'll, your uh, I'll I'll fill in what I can here. So she's gonna give you basically what you don't have, um, which is this bottom part, and then into more of pull the Svalik Woods there. Oh. So. Give us a compass to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's and this is the the borders of Barovia where the mists like if you get into this fog up here, um, it'll kill you. So. Oh, well, that sounds fun. As I know, right? That's friendly. Right it's so fun. Love it. Try to get all of this here because my thing is being dumb. There we go. There's so much, so much to fill in. Um, yeah, it's it's huge. So, she says, um, you've got some places marked off. Um, why are you going to, why would you want to go to Berez? We, we got the information from Madam Eve that we might find something there. Yeah, a swamp. Something it's ruled by a great evil? A swamp and a hag. No oh, one goes oh, there. Oh, oh. Jezebel jumps up. What do you mean a hack? It's the, the, no one. I won't go there. Wait, 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 wait. Who? What can you tell me about this hack? I had a really weird dream about a hack, and I need to know. She's talking about. It's. Uh. She's been there for uh, as long as Barovia has existed, as far as I know. What does he do? I'm interested. Can she enter people's streams? Because that feels felt like she did. Um, it's just like very like what? Just Jezebel just got really excited. And she's like, okay, slow down there. More, um, more like more like anxious than excited. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't know that Esmeralda can read the difference. <laughs> oh no, probably not. No one can with when it comes to me. <laughs> uh, she kind of looks. I I don't know specifics. She just. I mean, it, it's the swamp. So Berez was a village, and it flooded. And the rumor is that the hag caused the flood so she could just have the swamp all to herself. So there's no one there but her? No, as far as I know. And it's just, like, her domain. So basically, when you get there, everything you see is controlled by her. So we could see like a candy land, but really we'd be like waist deep in swamp water. That's entirely possible. I sure. I mean, yeah, just... sounds groovy. Her her house moves. That's that what I saw. The... Oh, this yeah. is the Baba Yaga. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Walks on Jezebel bird legs. Just starts to curl up. Further into the tourist bird, yes. like that's what oh. I saw. And, and uh, as far she as moves I, she moves with the village. That's was in the Madam Eve's notes. Mm. She moves with the village. So. Oh, someone's using their notes. See, we're just mm. trying to hit up all the tourist spots in Barovia. When we got here, we got these bingo cards with a bunch of different locations <laughs> on them, and there's like some prizes listed. We, we already got the free off. space in the middle, <laughs> and like it's structured in a way that like all the all the ends of the chain are like way over here, and the other ends are way over there. So like I got all these middle pieces, but like. <laughs> Play bingo. An old so. man, an old elf playing bingo just feels so right. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, <coughs> and as far as I know, Stra doesn't touch her. Like, they, I don't know if they have a truce or what it is, but she leaves him alone and he leaves her alone. So, so she might, she might actually have some information on Stra. 
Oh, she's completely oh. evil. Well, and the only thing we should we need to find there an item. Uh, I I really think she might have one of the items we need. <laughs> Does he have a name? To whimper. You guys didn't see her in your dream, you know. <laughs> Yes. Does she have a name? Not as far as I know. I, she didn't. She didn't actually chant her name. <laughs> <laughs> She's wearing a name tag. <laughs> yep. Just be like, Hello, my name I'm is so and so. Exactly. Welcome. Yeah. My name is. And I'm she just. Kept, she, kept, she just kept talking about the, the women, the bakers, the pie. We are friends. Do you know of them as well? Bella? Who? What? What are you talking about? The, um... <laughs> Jezebel goes a little bit, um, she... Um, pauses a little bit hesitantly. Um, we, um... So we destroyed a, a windmill? And, uh... By accident? It, I'm going to mm, shoot it? It was not accident. No. It was not an accident. No, we were not. And uh, it, it belonged to these two women who. Um, three. Three. Oh, I'm sorry. Three. I just got oh, really focused fine. on trying to destroy the windmill. Um. And they, I think, according to the dream I had, they really pissed at us. And I think the hag might know something about it. Do you know of them? Do you know what they're gonna do? Have you heard of anything of three women traveling around? She's. <laughs> Looks really baffled for a second and then starts laughing. You burned down old bone grinder? Uh, yeah. Oh, you have a <laughs> death sentence on your head. Ah, uh, she's fine. I'm going to back away from Jezebel just a little bit. <laughs> the mother and daughters who run that, or ran that place are hags. Ah! Uh. Why are there so many hags around? You burn down their source of, like, where they make their food. Uh, yeah, because they were yeah, healthy. And, and the worst yeah, that's what they do. They delicious. But that's not cool. Like, we don't kill children. We don't get people hooked on drugs and then take their children. That's It's not cool. No one has dared to do that, ever. You're either very yeah. smart or very stupid. I don't know which one. We're somewhere in the middle, I think. We were just really ignorant about it. That's what no. you get when you get a bunch of tourists. You have a talking wolf over here. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hate all of this. <laughs> Deeply. God, I love this uh. game. <laughs> Like, so much. It's really hard for me to explain how deeply I hate what we're talking about. I love this game so much. I was yeah. deep in my book, not paying attention, and I heard up, look up, and I hear we don't drug and drug someone and kidnap their children. That statement is correct, and I have no idea what caused it to spring into being, but I don't like it. We're talking about the hacks that are after us. Yeah, Bella and Ophelia. The windmill? You want to drug a hag? No, they were they were drugging people and then stealing their children. They got hooked on the Oh, they were I do like this conversation like, then. Let's fucking kill some people. She just, she's like, they're gonna come after you. Yeah, you think? They're going <laughs> to find a village to decimate first. Uh, Can they not? That's just rude. And then... Oh, no. I mean, you you understand what those little, the the things that they make do, right? The pies, yeah. Yeah, the pies. Okay, yeah. so the pies are people. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. But they that, also that, contain that, that bacon. a very powerful hallucinogen that people get addicted to. I'm gonna yeah. take out my three vials of special juice that we got from uh, <laughs> Rune Tower. Special juice. That's he's yeah. written that in marker on the side of the yeah. map. Special <laughs> juice. Do you have any idea how these it. things work? Oh god. Um mm, I'm not great at the potion alchemy stuff. Um 
I, I can try, yeah. Um, hold on a second, let me see. Yeah, she doesn't really have... Oh, that was bad. That was a six. Oh, God. She's like, I don't. It's, if it's not holy water or a healing potion, I don't really know. Just drink it and see what happens. Yeah, you can do that. Special no. juice. Yeah. Yeah. I have three but kinds of special juice. One is marked while of youth. One is marked while of laughter. I'm really interested in what that does. And then a while of mother's milk that oh. we have determined it is poison. Yeah, the mother's milk, I've heard of that as a poison. The middle one probably does what it says it does. Adam, would you like a drink? <laughs> Uh, and then the first one, I mean, hags can change their shape and their form so that if they go around people, they can look how they want, but it it's not always an ability that they can just turn on and off, so maybe it's connected to that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I, let's I'm, see. I, I, I'm going to use it at a critical moment, yes. <laughs> kill me. Oh, You're not going to give it, like, a trial run. It's a little drop. I'm kind of old. I could use it. Um, Actually, uh, would a drop have any effect? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find do out. Do it, do it, do it. All right, I'm, I'm going to take a... I'm going to get ready so... my constitution saving dice. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. going to bears... I'm gonna give him bears endurance, too. Okay, I'm into this. I'm going to take a sip of the while of laughter. I want. I need to know. You need to know. It. To know. Okay, it's kind of a. We were definitely. We're definitely taping this, right? Oh, oh, hundred yeah. fucking percent. Hundred percent. I am. Yeah. So, it, it's kind of a thicker liquid, almost like like think consistency, like a smoothie, right? Mm. Um. And it Lemony. tastes like blueberries, maybe, or something kind of akin to that. You just take a little, like, mouthful. Yeah, it's just sip. Okay, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. With advantage. <laughs> you, you have advantage on that due to my yeah, spell. Yeah. Do I have fine constitution? No, I don't. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a dirty 20. I'm okay, positive. okay. <laughs> And then I need you to make a wisdom saving throw with advantage. That's... You got advantage Not because you made the con save. If you're within 10 feet of me, you can add 3 to that saving. Oh, dupe. Ah, oh, that's a natural tundi. Okay. <laughs> you can start to feel, and you all watch Alistair go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then he kind of. <laughs> You swallow real hard. And you feel like you're gonna throw up a little bit, <laughs> but you manage to kind of push down that feeling, like you're gonna just start cracking up uncontrollably. It's just wrath in the face. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. It did work. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Uh, the only thing needed there was a fart song. Oh God. <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't do that again if I were you. It was worth it. <laughs> was it? Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. Was that <laughs> Didn't seem idea? like it. <laughs> Adam just sitting there like, shh. Adam has been, been casually <laughs> sitting with his back to a tree this entire time, like, realizing that he has rapidly lost control of this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that that nothing useful is going to come out of it. That our right. party has moved into drinking poison to see what happens. This is more stupid than the than us going into the trance than you know taking the guy. No, to no drugs. he was he was already pretty nervous about that. But like, <laughs> yay, drugs! You see what's going to happen. Uh, he's not he's not judging you. He just feels that he has no benefit to give this. <laughs> He's gonna let the youngins be youngins, and <laughs> I'm old as hell. So, I'm like 850. It's uh, 400. yeah, maybe don't. The only youngin to me. Experiment anymore? I was those? having my midlife elf crisis. 
She's like, I... Especially That's considering why you have where they came from. Um... Yeah, no, that's, uh, the, 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 the stuff that they make, those, those pastries that they make are addictive because they put the, the person who ate them into a trance to where they can dream themselves into a land where things are happy and fine. So it becomes that thing where, like, they're so miserable, they keep eating them to escape, and then eventually they go comatose and die. That's all oh, shit. They were happy that I had destroyed it. So, yeah. But they're gonna be I, pissed. I said let them come. I mean, they're gonna have to deal with it. They'll find you eventually. Yeah. Okay. Looking for it. That's happens. Right, but it's three of them. You're and, five. Yeah, there's more than three of us. Yeah. I'm just counting right. on my fingers. But five. hags in a coven are extremely dangerous. Yeah, that's bad news bears. We gotta be real careful. <laughs> I mean, lots of things are dangerous, and... One of them, if you could separate them, yes, but they're not going to willingly separate at this point. I asked Count and Cut, did you take that sip of that little potion of Ballester's? Because you seem really optimistic about things. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just rolling with it. What's yeah, I mean... It's, it's gonna happen, like, we can't really, like, change it, like, what the... It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But like, I I do feel the need to say like, just because it's going to happen doesn't mean that we want to make it happen as quickly as possible. I'm like, really maybe we could gain it. some more experience, learn higher level spells. I agree. Steve the player. Maybe we could level up a little bit before we go rampaging into a group of hags. No, we just. We Tell just the guy who wanted to blow See? up the goddamn building. I didn't want- no, I stopped you from blowing up a building. You are misremembering this. Uh, you're no, talking- no, no, we're talking about, about the happen. <laughs> Do I need to roll this back is why, the tape? <laughs> this is why we don't- uh, I'm, No, I'm- <laughs> This is- this is crazy. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. So, Esmeralda's gonna go to bed. She'll take a watch. <laughs> if you need her I'll to. I'll take a second watch. Her perception is pretty good. The boy. I'll do the first one because okay. I'm still writing. Okay, fabulous. So let's do that. Still writing this death film. I'll be the third one, I guess. I have four runes to ins three runes to inscribe. You can always double up on watches. There's nothing that mm -hmm. keeps you from doing that. Um, no. I'm, well, I'm still clinging to a Taurus, so yeah. Fair enough. That's because I'm caught them. <laughs> you're a cuddly little wolf. Yes, of course. He's gonna eat you. No, I'm not. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be something more scaly next time. Fuck no! <laughs> when we get to when, when we get out of the mountain, you can. I need your body heat. Um, yeah, give me your body. Okay, Adam, go ahead and make perception check for me while you take first watch. Absolutely. Um, we there's we haven't rolled it all, so like I don't even have a d20 ready. <laughs> Um, I got I'll one right here. You. No, it's been bickering. Yeah, right. This has been we've been bickering for about an hour in front of a stranger. Um, you got some information. I got a 15, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Um, you don't see any animals. You don't see any sign of anyone. Uh, and just at the end of your watch, as you're thinking about, like, how warm you're going to be here very soon, <laughs> get down mm -hmm. into, like, your bedroll, you mm -hmm. start to see, it's hard to tell you, where you're at is kind of in a valley a little bit, just off the road, because I'm assuming you're not going to camp right on the road, and up over the hill, off in the distance, you're like, is that, a... at first it looks like fire. It looks like something is on fire. There's like a spark of bright red. And then it dies down. And then it's gone. Mm -hmm. In which direction was that? So it would be northeast into the woods a little bit. Kind of in this direction. I'll try to mark this a little bit better for you. Come on, thing. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? It was kind of here. <laughs> okay. Hard to tell Everybody the else. distance, but it definitely, it was like a, and then nothing. Like, close-ish? Or, like, far away? Up over the tree line. 
for us Americans, probably five or six miles off. Okay, not close enough for me to go investigate. Mm, it's up to you. Um, no, not close enough for me to go investigate. <laughs> just huh? through the woods. Yeah. I was just going to cast Sanctuary on myself and take a leisurely stroll, okay. but um, I, I'm not going to do that. If, yeah, that's too far. Okay. Um, other, if by the time for me to walk five miles at a regular pace is going to take like multiple hours. <laughs> um, be, so now I'm just like two hours. Yeah. Yeah, at least. Um, so no, I'm going to hang out. Okay. You're going to hang out. Your watch mm -hmm. ends. You don't see any more of that don't notice anything odd it was just a strange happening who had second watch again me i think okay when i wake you up i'm gonna point off in the direction and be like hey just keep an eye out over there while you're awake uh, a couple hours ago i saw this like big gust of fire just like <laughs> go storing off into the sky but it was like far away enough that i was like yeah it's somebody else's problem <laughs> but um if you happen to see anything coming from over there just you know maybe Bang on a pot or something. Wake us all up. <laughs> all right. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm. And Adam like immediately like curls up on the tree, like in like into his tree and just starts <laughs> trant thrashing. <laughs> That's right. I forgot he does that. Tina thrashing. Oh yeah, I love that. I love it. Um, Esmeralda will stay up with you, Alistair. I'm gonna grab a pan just in case. <laughs> <laughs> just to be prepared. <laughs> okay, for a watch, go ahead and make a perception check. Esmeralda will do the same. Hers is pretty just good. One, just one question. How long does the watch take? Like, how, uh, how many hours is About that? four hours. Okay, so at that time I'm awake because my trance is over. Okay. So I'm gonna smoke. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Just one hour of it. Alistair, what did you get? I rolled that uh, two. So seven. <laughs> okay, fair enough. He's just like enchanted by Esmeralda. <laughs> yes. He's um, or, he's, or he's haunted by the words she said. Could be. He's still on drugs right now. Yeah. No, she got an 18. So. Oh, thank God. Oh, <laughs> she has a plus six. She does okay. Um, she, She's quiet the entire time. Um, she's very focused on. She's got a whetstone out and is taking care of her sword. She's got a sword, a rapier, a hand crossbow, uh, an entire quiver full of arrows, uh, a hand axe. She's a fighter. <laughs> you do notice that her short sword is silvered. Um, she's a vampire hunter. And yeah, that's my kind of hunter. Towards the end of watch, she gets into her pack and tosses you a little vial. And she says, you can always get more the next time you stop at a church or something. But just in case, smash it over a vampire's head. It works just fine. Thank so you. Vial that's of very holy kind. water. <laughs> <laughs> very kind of you. Thank you. I don't know. It was I'm... kind, more as less death in Barovia in general would be a good thing. I'm going to toss her one of my healing potion as a rebuttal. Oh. I thought at first that you were oh. actually tossing the holy water to the yeah. way from you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> she, uh, she looks at it and she goes, nah, keep it. Throws it back. I've got my own. Much blood. <laughs> okay, and uh, she does also notice, she points over towards the tree line where Adam had pointed, you see another little, like, it almost looks like fire, but not quite. It's hard to tell exactly what it is. It looks like a blob of red in the dark. And that's odd. What do you reckon it is? No fucking clue. Is it closer than when? No. <laughs> just same oh, distance. Fine. Same distance. It's a dragon. It's fine. It's just a dragon. This is just, you know, it's like when you climb a mountain in Skyrim and then all of a sudden there's a fucking dragon there. Yeah. That's fine. You're like halfway up, just like hopping yep. up yep. one <laughs> step at a time and then you get like, oh no. <laughs> it just has a little heartburn or whatever. We're fine. Yeah, something's belching. It's fine. So, so uh... Yeah, that's... I've never seen that before, and that's disconcerting. Huh. You don't like when people say that. <laughs> Maybe 
in the morning. It's not far off the road, maybe worth looking at. I might be. I'm just going to clutch my sword and my pan and go wake up our tourists. <laughs> okay, our tourists is... I'm smoking. He's smoking. <laughs> oh. What is he smoking? That holly. A holly, yes. The path! And... The path! <laughs> That's what you missed last time. They ran into these druids who smoke hallucinogenic holly and they see visions. And so he was like, hey, I'm gonna go mm-hmm. for my watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we're all fucked, so. <laughs> <laughs> As he shows up, he's not gonna know. I'm gonna wake up Jezebel. She was going to take watch with Yeah, me. she was. Okay. Or Taurus. And I'm going to hand her the pan. If you see anything, beat the pan. Beat the pan. I'm sorry. It's just like okay. the most pedestrian thing, and at the same time, it's very effective. Sometimes the simple solution is the way to go. The path of least resistance. Mm-hmm. It's way of the pan. Just the way of the pan. Bang, bang, yep. Uh, or Taurus, you now know the process to grind up the leaves you un- and the berries. You understand what you should and shouldn't use. Um, so, are you going to ingest the entire pipe? Just a little bit at the beginning and see what happens. Just then. to get that little tangle yeah. going? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to see how the watch goes. <laughs> if the watch is uneventful, I'll do the rest. Okay, okay. So, I won't have you make a check yet. Um, or Taurus and Jezebel, go ahead and make perception checks for me. 19. Ooh. Ah, damn it, I rolled badly. I rolled a 12, I think. Yeah, 12. Okay. <laughs> um, or Taurus, you don't see anything. You think you see a deer off in the distance, maybe? Not sure. It gets skittish and turns tail real quick. Um, when it sees all of you. And then Jezebel, yeah, same thing. You see that little off in the tree line. Right at Jezebel. the edge of dawn, I would say. Is is Esmeralda still there? She's sleeping. She's sleeping. Okay, yeah. great. And I look over at Taurus and he's tripping and I'm like, you're not... I'm not... I'm not tripping that badly, okay? Not yet. <laughs> okay. Palmer. So I, I I poke him in the shoulder. No, no, I can't reach that far. I poke him in the uh, in the pelvis. <laughs> do you do do you, do you see that thing over there? I I could go over there, but going up on is going up is not good here. Let's just wait till the morning and see if it's still there. If it is, then we can like all check it out, maybe. Okay, because you know the last thing we saw something fiery red. It um, attacked us, and they had a really, 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 really bad person accompanying him. So I'm kind of all alone in Peruvia, Okay, you all have have uh, nightmare trauma from the <laughs> from the fucking oh, yeah. flaming horse. I mean, I mean that thing can stomp me. Mm-hmm. To a pancake. Sure. So yeah, as a hobbit, as a halfling, as I'm a terrified. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a proud hobbit, um... <laughs> I, I'm a proud, ho- proud hobbit. All right. Uh, or Taurus, did you want to finish that pipe off? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, make a religion check for me. Do it for me. Uh, I'm gonna not uh, goblin dice. Fuck it. Okay, religion. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be a nineteen. Nineteen. All right. Okay. So you've gotten a little used to how this experience kind of happens. Um, there's a moment where you start to feel that out of body like push where you can almost feel yourself like you want to turn into a wolf or a creature again. That instinct takes over. You just want to run. You want to run the wilds for... And then you kind of push it back down and start to focus. Um, And I'm going to give you some exposition. So... uh, 
there is a lonely shaft of sunlight that pierces through your vision and it lights a statue and the statue has this one of those like realistically carved faces where it almost looks like flesh a very smooth gorgeous work but there's pieces um chipped and and missing you can see that it's been through a lot of wear and tear and then just as you're admiring the beauty of the statue the statue's face turns to you and you get the distinct impression that it sees you completely I and the face? yeah yeah the eyes um, kind of spark alive <laughs> I was just wondering, okay, so He's the, um, I know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm like, just like, okay, I'm like, wait a minute, yeah, it's okay. a little unnerving, um, yeah. and you could tell that it was probably painted at one point, like someone had taken great care of this thing, <laughs> um, the paint has all chipped away, and then you do notice what paint exists starts to glow a little bit, and the, it, the statue was depicting a very old man, like old, long hair, beard, and you watch all of that start to morph and the age vanishes from the old man's face and the beard recedes and the hair slowly like gets pulled back into like a tight ponytail and then you watch the paint start to refresh itself like color is returning to the statue and you suddenly see a young man's face he's got dark hair and gray eyes and he looks a lot like Strahd. Oh, snap. But it's not at the same time. There's a relation there. It's his brother. And he says, I am Sergei von Zarevich. I hope you find the shrine of the white sun. Well, we know where to go next, I guess. And that's all Sergei, you get. Sergey from what? Sergey von Zarevich. Zarevich. And Strahd is von Zarevich. So that's their family line. I don't like those odds. <laughs> so we're looking for a statue of Sergey. Yeah. It's fun. Something we can ask for Esmeralda. All right. Okay. Let's just yeah. Okay. So that's the vision. Um, let's take a quick break, and we'll get you back on the road. Everyone, go take a quick break, and uh, we'll be back in about ten or so. All right. All right.
quick break and we are back. So, uh, watch ends. You wake up in the morning, and I will tell you right now that in that spot in the tree line where you saw the weirdness happen, uh, the trees have turned bright red. On fire, then? Mm -mm. So, someone just painted them? Like the bark of the trees has turned bright red, like, or oh, it's just like, fall. like we are suddenly fall. But yeah, there, are, fall. all the other trees around you have no leaves, and those oh, did trees have... didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So these are new leaves. Well, these are new leaves, and they are fire engine red. Magic, druid. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Trees. I would like to Can you explain? I don't know. Can I? I'm just like, wow, those look really pretty. <laughs> they do look gorgeous. I mean, against the white of the snow, but it's also unnerving. Um, or Taurus, uh, if you want to make a nature check. I'm going to do the nature check. Yeah. Of course I'm going to do it. While he's doing that, mm -hmm. can I fill my water skin with the wine that we had? Yes, of course. And pour the vial of laughter into it as well. Okay. Just remember that. Yeah, I will. Okay. Make it sure. I roll then. Wait a bit. What's nature? Nature. He's gonna get uh, drunk and get the giggles. That's eighteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Trees blossoming overnight. Obviously not typical. Um, of considering course I'm in Barovia. the weirdness of Barovia, who fucking knows? <laughs> you are aware that some trees because of the way trees are tied to the land the trees and the land are one basically anywhere you go so if it affects the ground it will affect the tree if there's a drought the tree will suffer if there's a good spring or a good summer the tree will blossom the only thing that makes sense to you and you don't know why this makes sense but i'll give you this is that the trees would be red either from a uh, from magic or because blood was spilled on the ground the night before. Oh, that's fun. I got a video day information, of course. So either magic or blood magic. Great. <laughs> Both just sound wonderful. God, when I watch the Vampire Diaries with Melissa, I get so furious about that. <laughs> it's all blood magic. Everything they do is blood magic. That's bad. Blood magic is bad. Bad juju. Yeah. Anyway, so we so we missed a party. The ranger. We were invited. Should we, should we investigate it, or you guys want to yeah. just walk away? I am interested. In what makes me be red? When I get close, if if we go there, and when I get when we get close, I'm going to use detect magic on it on the area. Okay. Still, so, are, are we going? Is this is a group thing? So, what do you guys think? If we go there, we're tech magic, just saying. Just to check it out. It's up to you. Maybe it's the hags. They want to, like, send us a message or something. Who knows? Well, that's As I mentioned, we'll never know hacks. unless we investigate. Jezebel just freezes and we're like, wait, whoa, are we ready for that? Jezebel, if there was blood there, there might be meat that you can eat there. Oh, God! Damn. Don't, don't, well, like, if don't. it was like someone was, like, hunting a deer... Got shot. If you kill one deer, the trees don't go all red. You never know. <laughs> this would be <laughs> an extreme act of violence, a curse, or magic. So definitely not a deer. That, I mean, has anybody magic. done? No, of course not. Detect magic. I, I wanted to do that if we got closer. Yes. Yeah. Are You're about five miles that? off. That's if you want to go. That's the thing. Yeah, I think at this point we need to go. Yeah. I mean, Let's... we're we're still delaying the winery stuff, so why not? <laughs> You'll get there eventually. You'll we'll get there eventually. Let's go. Five years later, we show up at the wall. I will say, <laughs> just, just, if it makes you feel any better, the winery part is a big adventure. It's like it's a it's its own chapter in the book. So mm -hmm. you you know it it is all at your own pace. It's okay. so, remind me one more time where we are right now. We're we're like here on you're this like, road. Yeah, you're kind of off in these woods a little bit. You found a little safe valley. Um, so yeah, you would be going. Ah, why? You would be headed basically this direction. 
Oh, there's a there's a legend down here. Oh. Legend? Oh, 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 oh. So how far is one? No, you said it was five miles. I'm just going to go with what you said. Yeah. yeah. Don't pay any attention to that. The one square is right. a quarter mile. Right. Yeah. There's no squares on here, so. There's hexes. Yeah, but still. But still, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's still going to take us like two hours to get out there, but like. I mean, if I become a, a monkey, I can just swing around there faster. Or you, you could know? just become a bird. I can't but... fly yet. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I need to learn how to fly. So you can turn into a chick. I can <laughs> turn into a... I can turn into, a, into an axe beak. I just... Can you turn into a penguin? Can I? T what's the chance rating on a penguin? Probably a zero. A one. Yeah, so, like yes. a quarter. Yes, then I could be a penguin. I mean, if you want, I'll let you have that, sure. Oh my god, have you ever seen that video of Benedict Cumberbatch trying to say penguin while he's narrating oh, a documentary? Oh, yeah. I can't handle that. Penguin. It's, penguin. it's a penguin, uh, you fucking idiot. How have you not lived your entire life and heard at least one he's person rich. say Anyway, um, so uh, let's march. Yeah, let's might as well, might as well go check it out. I mean, okay. I'm just gonna to become you. a. It's not like we're gonna deliver this wine anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I um, still think which animal I should become. Maybe a panther. I could just run into as a panther. Good. Or a cheetah. Not, I would let you have hobby. Snow Leopard. Snow Leopard, that sounds cool. Because then you wouldn't struggle with the snow through the woods. Yeah, yeah. Either that or an ape. I just swing around. Or you can just go back I... to Wolf. <clears throat> yeah, but I want to have Wolves some... are also pretty damn fast. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I'll just go back to Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> So Defeated. I, <laughs> I could change. I could change into any animal. Just I'll, I'll just change into a wolf then. So for for order of operations here, how far ahead of the party do you want to get? Um, not to like 10, 15 feet max. You can go further. Not... We, I think sight distance. Okay. Because like, like sure. sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. My thinking on it is that like ten or fifteen feet, anything that you would warn us about is gonna be we're not gonna have enough time. But if you go sixty feet, we'll have Does anybody have like message or something? I, I do. Then yeah, you should be can you set up like you should message back and forth with him so that he can just like telepathy us like I smell danger. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Okay. I will cast magic on a message on Taurus. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I would probably use my nose to check out if I can smell any blood while I go there. Yes, probably a good idea. Okay. So, um, let's put you into the woods. I'll say that uh, Ertorus runs ahead 60 feet or so. Esmeralda has her weapons out. Recommend you all do the same. Um, looks very uh, uh, worried, and Vasilia is just following whoever you tell her to. Um, <laughs> so, as or Taurus, as you get closer, Adam pushes her up into the front of the pack. Why don't you just stand here? Oh okay, God. and just 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 stay like five steps ahead of us. Our meat shield, literally. Literally, our meat shield. Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Um, the uh, or Taurus, as you start to get closer and closer, you do smell blood for sure. Some of it is old and dried. Some of it is recently fresh, as in like a night or two, and the trees. Are the, so the bark of the trees that you're starting to see at the at the the edge of the the tree line where there's a like a grove opening, um, the bark looks fine, but the trees are so brilliantly red they almost hurt to look at the leaves. 
Uh, and I can kind of show you, so ignore where I put you on the map. I just wanted to get the players moved. So this is what you wind up seeing. A cabin in the woods. Oh, There's a, a um, we'll say you all start to kind of approach from that direction. I'll move you accordingly as we need to. But, or Taurus, as you start to see this kind of rundown shack. Um, there's a broken wagon in the front. It looks, it's covered in snow. There's holes in the porch, holes in the roof. It's not in great shape. And there's just the tiniest little bit of smoke coming out of the chimney like someone put out a fire semi-recently. Um, if Jezebel uh, casts message on me, I'm going to relay okay. that I can smell blood. There's a cabin in the woods. Be careful. So I say the same thing to the others while clutching my staff, like, we're, we're really going there? So, yeah, yep. we are. Yep. We're going on an adventure! Yay! Going, and there is, is there smoke coming out of the top again? Just a little yeah. bit, yep. It's still enough to prove that it's inhabited in some capacity. Okay. <laughs> Someone was there semi-recently. Um, but, or Taurus, yeah, you approach from kind of the southwestern side. Uh, there's two windows on this side. On the west side, the glass is broken out of them. You do see the door, the front door, hanging loose. It's almost like if you gave it one swift kick, it would completely come off its hinges. Can I, I peek in the windows? I'm just a wolf. I don't, I don't think I would be too suspicious. Blood everywhere! Oh, that's good. Yay! It's a one-room yeah. cabin. Um, everything is just... There's just blood all over the place. There's gouge marks in the floor. You see... There's a little... You can't really see it on the map, but there's a little back door here. It is also hanging open, and there's blood trails leading out. Um, the fire is largely out. It's mostly just embers at this point. Someone left candles to just burn down to nothing. Uh, at, this place was ransacked. That right there is where the little back door is? Yeah, there's like a little back... It's hard... Yeah, it's really oh. hard to see on the map. Uh, that's, that's the shitter. It's like right there. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just be actively watching our back? Absolutely. Just... Yep. What's your passive perception? Uh, it is... 15. Okay, good enough. <laughs> So uh, as I'm you wait all, for to catch up, yeah. yeah, as you all start to approach, why? Yeah, right Sorry, window. people are not copying and pasting the way I want them to. There we go. You can move yourselves around. You're free to move about the cabin. Um. So yeah, it, it, it this is a this is a fucking wreck. I I turn to G uh, Esmeralda. Do you know this place? No. I mean, most people don't even live out on their own. Here, I'll put her on the map. Bam. Most people don't live out on their own. Uh, it's too dangerous. So it's either hermits, um, druids, or uh, people who who have lost their minds and run off into the woods. Very few people live out on their own. It's yeah, that's a death sentence. She is I'm actually done. going to start looking around too. I would probably walk around the back door and, like, find out the blood trail leading out. Just so people know. Okay. Is there yeah. active blood trail leading out of the cabin? <sighs> yeah. Um, the two things. First thing, detect magic. 30-foot uh, radius, right? I th believe it's a 30-foot radius. I will double-check that. 30-foot. Yeah. Um, 30 foot, yep. 30 foot cone in front of me. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Right? Um, no, no, it is just a 30 foot radius. Incorrect. Radius. Um, I'll tell you what. I will aura up for you. Because um, we are here now, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, God, that's so big. Um, <laughs> also, I am going to do... Uh, I think it's Eyes of the Grave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eyes of the Grave. Um, to detect any undead uh, within 60 feet of me. 
No magic. Yeah, not yet. I'm not going to do that yet because it's only one round. That's okay. not a persistent. No magic yet. Okay. Can I transfer back into my human form sure. and then use detect poison and disease and see if anything in there is poisoned or diseased, anything indicating someone that was sick, something like that? There is a disease in some of the blood. It's a werewolf. I'm going to check if I can. Uh, you can also then try the kind of poison, uh, poisonous creature or disease in each case. I can identify it if I want to. So I, want, I will do that. Uh, yeah, Honeycut had it right. It's lycanthropy. <laughs> I knew it as soon as I heard about the gouge mark. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's werewolves, yeah. <laughs> Can I just go inside and just look? Hold on. <laughs> Before you do, let's just see if there's anything right in the front. I'm just going to actually walk around the perimeter of the entire building because okay. that should allow me yeah. 30 feet. So, I, I, I should be able The only thing I might not get is like the very... No, I got it. I got everything. Okay, so here's the fun part, Adam, is you're walking around... Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. You get back here, and there's suddenly one little ping. Ooh. Um, gonna go check that out. Half buried in the snow is a single, really, really, like, rotted scarecrow. What is its school? Uh, conjuration. Hmm. <laughs> um. Hmm. Do you want me to dispel magic, or do you want to? Uh, you go ahead. I was thinking about it. Um, I would love to know more specifically what it is, but I have no way to figure that out. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Can't you just arcana check it? Yeah, you can arcana check it. Yeah, yeah. I have a one. I am a, I am trashed at that. This is... <laughs> I'm a wrong caster. I am a cleric. <laughs> I'm not a spell caster, Madrid, but I can try. Jezebel might zero. have a decent arcana. That's what I'm saying. Why don't we ask the, the magic caster to do it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. Hey, Jezebel, I got something for you to go and poke. And might be food. Esmeralda oh, has oh. a plus seven. Ooh, and, uh, of course, that. our esteemed guest, who is <laughs> maybe the best person to do this. Yeah, she's she tough. I, I forgot she was still with us. I thought oh, she was healing That's a dirty 20, so. <laughs> yeah, oh, so dirty 20 that. Um, I, I point at the scarecrow. I'm gonna have Jezebel make the check though too. Yes. Okay. Ar Arcana check. Arcana, mm -hmm. yeah. Please. Yep. Okay. Sixteen. It's close enough. The uh, this thing is not sentient. It is acting. It was created into being and acts as a watchdog. And it is okay. the feeling you get. Jezebel and Esmeralda too you can just see her face like like she starts scowling as soon as she even gets close to it she goes that's that magic is foul yeah, it's like it's I, like I trying to touch an oil slick it's foul yep yeah it's like tar it's yeah get rid of it then I think we gotta dispel it <laughs> <laughs> I can cast the dispel honest. do it yep I'll do it that's three more runes for the book. <laughs> oh, God. So, Dispelled, um, the Scarecrow, you just watch it just tumble into a pile of hay and, like, twine and cloth. And just as it hits the ground, this little streak of green leaves. And you hear a... <laughs> and it shoots off into the woods. Oh, crap. It was a hag. It, it still did its job. Hag. But, uh, fuck. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna shout out, are we in the clear? Yeah, go on inside. <laughs> okay, you can go I'm ahead. Go I'm going in, and I'm just going to actively look for hidden stash. Make an investigation check. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I know well, that's very true. <laughs> Melis Maleficent vibes, right? Everyone, <laughs> everyone. Prepared. That's, That's straight up green. A 23. 23. Um, this is a very... Someone... The person who... Or people who lived here were very poor. 
Um, the, everything here is, it's wooden utensils, it's wooden mugs, the hearth looks like it's going to fall apart at any point. Um, you do find the loft area pretty easily. There's a little ladder that um, comes up here, and you can actually see hanging off the edge of the loft, there's a, a skeleton hand. Mm. Lovely. Adam! Mm-hmm. Ooga booga! Ooga booga! <laughs> we got a body. Ooh, I'm gonna go poke that body. There's two Call bodies. Back. Okay. Um, they are lying beside each other, kind of, the one kind of propped up against the wall. The loft is, again, it's very small. It was a very small bed that was up here. Um, like a twin bed loft. Yeah, it, yeah. It wouldn't have been fun to sleep in alone, let alone two people. Um, their flesh is gone. Uh, their clothes are very simple. Basically rags at this point. And there's more bones on the floor. More bones than belong to these two. Um, they have teeth marks in them. Mm -hmm. And did the bed bones have teeth marks? Yeah. Everything's and... got teeth marks on it. Wow, so again? this is not like a werewolf hangout. This is not like a, a home owned by werewolves. This is definitely a home mauled by werewolf. Wait a minute. No, that makes no fucking sense. Then why are they in bed? Why are the bones not? Sorry, I'm like talking through my the investigatory process. The bones aren't in process. bed. They're, one is laid out on the floor, and the yeah. other is kind of propped up against the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I misunderstood That's then, because okay. I thought they were like both on top of the bed. No. Okay. Nope. They were just sleeping through a werewolf attack. Um, yeah, it's just... I sleep through anything, you know? Are <laughs> so... Are they like scattered around, or are they still like in classic, somewhat assembled skeletal poses? The skeletons poses? look mostly whole, um, but there are more bones around right. them. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Got it. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's what I the thought. The bones around them look more animal. And I do, do I get the lycanthropy like, disease vibe from them? Oh or? yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Now, now all not all of the blood in here. Some of the blood is very human. It's very human. It's very boring. Some blood was spilled. And you catch a little bit towards the back door that's wide open. And there's a little bit kind of on the door frame. Like whatever was in here and has lycanthropy somehow got injured. And then there's a blood trail leading out into the woods. Going that direction. Onward. Yeah. Like that if way. we want friends, I could technically revive one of them and just have them hang out with us. Can you revive bones? We're just yeah. gonna have a skeleton with us, just chilling. Yeah. So We've been let's... through this like on multiple occasions. There is a hard no on necromancy conducted by us. This is not the first time that you've proposed this. <laughs> it won't be the last time. And every time I'm gonna tell you no. <laughs> It's foul and awful. I know it's foul and awful. That's why I won't get rid of it. <sighs> Edgelord youngins. <laughs> Edgelord youngins. <laughs> no necromancy. If we do necromancy, we are no better than Shrod, and we are no better than the monsters that run this place. And I personally like to think that I am far superior and that I associate with people that are also far superior. So, that's a hard no on the skeletons. I roll my eyes. Let me um, give Alistair this because he was looking around. There is, a, I mean, yeah. it's not hard to find. There's an open book on the table. I love books. Um, it seems it to out. be a diary of some kind. Um, there's talk of. Just to be. Yeah. Very, because I know Adam. I'm going to use. Poke it with my sword first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, it's I'm a mimic. So, no. I'm so no, proud. Not. I am so proud. <laughs> they can't be taught. <laughs> this is a big day for me. Just give me a minute <laughs> to sit in this moment. It let you Let's bask all in appreciate it. it. And we're okay. Done. Okay. We're done. It's uh, done. It, no, it's a diary. It yeah. Oh. It's written in a, a feminine hand. Ooh. Um, you see in the front, it says property of Lavinia. And she talks about their day-to-day. -day. They actually run a small orchard not far from here. Um, and then she talks about how the orchard suddenly just started dying. The 
the trees were shriveling and poisoning the apples, um, and they were trying to figure out what was going on. Their son came back from a long hunt. He came back with an injury. And then almost overnight, he started getting angry and violent. And they tried to help him. They tried to lock him down, suspecting he had been turned into a werewolf. They were preparing for the full moon. He fell ill, and that's it. I'm going to just... I'm going to put that book into my back. Okay. And I'm going to take my dagger and write the name Lydia on the, on the wall. Okay. Does it say what her son's name is in the diary? Uh, Yosef. As he's carving into the wall, Adam just starts going, Dust in the wind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow. He holds up the lighter. Just he just lights a stick on fire. <laughs> <laughs> is the, 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 like, the green magic thingy that came from Scarecrow still there? Or did it, like, oh no, it's here? gone. It Ripped took off away. over the woods. Does the book reference anything about them being able to use magic? These look like dirt poor, dirt fucking poor farmers. All right, I've shown my respect, and I propose that we follow a blood trail and subjugate herself. I hope they're not get bitten and catch like cantrope. Oh, if you can cure it, that's cool. Not so easy to cure. <laughs> I just, it's like just, you know, having breakfast. I just get bit all the time and I just cure it. Oh man, so you want to see how to cure awesome. lycanthropy. We had an episode for that. <laughs> you just I have an idea. <laughs> no, we had a doctor, an actual doctor come in to do it. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Our buddy that works at the Mayo Clinic is a hyper nerd, so he came in and did a fake doctor and, and like invented a whole cure. It was so great. That's extra. Oh. That is a level of extra, my man. That's like... oh. it was hilarious, and he like gave them a medical exam in character. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Put that link in chat, man. Put that link in chat. I will. All right. All right. No. So anyway. you want to follow the blood then? <laughs> that is definitely, I think, the most profitable plan. Okay. Yeah. To me. To me. So, there's a couple ways to do it. We can have someone make a survival check, or if Urtorus would like to continue to use a wolf form and try to track using a sense of smell, you could do that as well. I have a five for survival. Ooh. I'm survival and not tracking. I can do both. <laughs> well, we could both do survival and just if you want. go in front. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Honeycut uh, wisdom so she gets advantage on wisdom checks. I got an 18. Ooh. I'm gonna roll then. Roll I got a 23, okay. I guess. And Esmeralda has a plus 7, so she got a 22. So we're doing good. She has plus 7 in next. She's, She's, good at that. She's a tracker. She, That's what she, she is does. the vampire hunter. Yeah. yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all. She's she Adam... knows how to follow blood. Like exactly. Abraham, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll show you the stats later. She's she's impressive. Um, she's I'll, definitely I'll a good one to. The fact that you all met her when you did was just pure fucking luck. We need to um, just kidnap her. So, just keep her. Yeah, just, you're staying here. We plan on killing lots of vampires. <laughs> So we would like to retain your services. Yeah. <laughs> she is for hire. Um, like, I understand no, seriously. Wrong. Actually, as she is like picking up on the trail, yeah. uh, Adam is going to be like, you know, so far today, you have helped me dispel a creepy scarecrow, uh, investigate a werewolf hut, and are clearly doing some high quality tracker work. So tell me, what kind of money are we looking at here to retain your services? <laughs> Because kinda... we're gonna kill a lot of fucking vampires, and I uh like. Except one, please. 
You're not, you're like not even, I'm not counting you. You go out in the daytime and stuff. Daywalker. Daywalker. Yep. Uh, she's, she's hunched down, uh, pointing to the ground and talking to Honeycutt and her Taurus kind of pauses when she sees Adam's strange old man elf who talks like he's got a frog in his throat. And what... <laughs> I work alone typically. This is an odd situation. Well, technically, you would be still working alone because, like, you'd be working for us and you're really the only person working for us, so you are working alone. I'm not an errand girl. Oh, no. Uh, I really just want you to continue doing pretty much everything that you're doing right now with us, but I want to give you money to inspire you to continue doing it with us instead of leaving like you uh, were telling us about last night. <laughs> Tell me something. She stands up, kind of brushes the snow off of her. Mm -hmm. So Barovia sees adventurers all the time. Mm -hmm. You're a dime a dozen. They die. Sometimes they get turned, they come back, or they just become food. Or they wind up getting thrown off a cliff by Strahd. Or they meet the mad mage and they get electrocuted. All of that happens. Mm -hmm. What is it exactly that makes you all so confident that you can take down someone who is literally the land? Because we're idiots. And Adam just gestures, gestures. He just gestures. Yep. <laughs> because we're idiots. I already idiot. cast Ray of Enfeeblement. I already did. Him. Yeah, that's true. That's Go true. Up on Ten minutes of being here. I did hit Strahd with a spell. I, knew, I shot him real good with a ray. You know he let you do that, right? It's like toying it's like a cat with a mouse. Like, uh, uh, and then you suddenly you get pretty eaten. pissed. But, uh... I think each of us has a reason to destroy that fiend, what? though. I, I am an old elf. I probably only got like 150, maybe 200 years. And I ain't planning on spending it in this shitbox. It's not happening. I mean... Make a persuasion check for me. Okay. Oh man, this is not good. Uh, <laughs> can, can we assist him in some? Just if I someone, have, well, there has been spoken. assistance lent. I would say that mm -hmm. someone's granted you advantage on that. So okay, sure. So the first one is a fourteen. Okay. The second one is an eight, so a fourteen. <laughs> okay. Do you, want to, do you need some help with persuasion? Let's do this. I have like a seven. Let's do this. I, I'll accept pay, but should our goals become diametrically opposed, or should need arise that I need to leave, consider that contract filled. Oh, absolutely. I'm not proposing like uh, like a permanent thing, like unless I mean, this is more of a retainer situation. So like here and Adam will like just reach in and like grab 50 gold and hand it to her. That's a start. Yep. And uh, we can revisit that question later when the rest of the party has seen the value of your services. Like I just handed this woman 50 gold. What are you doing? Um, <laughs> I'm broke. <laughs> That's y'all's fault. <laughs> Are we just all giving her like 50 gold? I'll give her 50. I mean, it depends on like, it depends on the relative value of gold. Like if we're going by standard D and D terms, like she is a highly trained. So these are my thought processes here. This is Steve explains economics of Ravenloft. Hopefully. <laughs> um, oh God. I don't know that gold is in heavy supply here in the same way that it would be in like a prime material plane. Right. So it's probably even more valuable than I would expect it to be. Um, however, even if we just go by the standard, like for the average human humanoid worker in a D and D world, a gold piece is like a week, a day's pay, a week's pay, a week's pay, a week's pay. Um, we yeah, for two weeks. We have her for a year. I, yeah, I gave her almost <laughs> like a full. I'll give her fifty two if she fucking wants. Like round it up um, to just like basically hang out with us and do what she would normally do. <laughs> 
You're and just assist. <laughs> just assist. I'm okay. not even asking her to like take the lead. So I mean, so if some... she she we're adventurers, so I understand when we go into places and we're like, I want a thousand gold pieces to go kill eighty rats. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll hey, give yes. her more. I'll, I'd give her a hundred, honestly. I need to run. Okay. Thanks for the game. Bye, oh, Alistair. See Bye, Bye. See you guys. See you. She uh, she says, okay, all right. um, let's make this interesting. There is an open contract that I was looking to fulfill on a rock that guards the Salinka Pass. I was going to just sneak by it, but maybe we fulfill the contract instead. You mean like rock like the big bird? Yeah. Like the yeah. man-eating seemed... bird. Yeah, yeah, this seems like a good trade. I like this. I like this. Is, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. We'll see. All We're right. good at killing stuff. We are really good at killing stuff. I've noticed. Even if it's accidental. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Burn down old bone grinder while you're at it. Um, I take no responsibility for that, nor will I be around when that happens. Um... <laughs> No. But yeah, I am well, I... curious about the hag and Berez, that's for sure. Excellent. Then I'm just going to kind of just like step back and let her do her okay. new job. So um. the th uh, Honeycut and her Taurus and um, Esmeralda, you do manage to track the blood. It doesn't take too long. The forest here isn't super dense. And whoever was doing this was not too concerned about covering their tracks. The ground eventually rises after about a half a mile, and you see that there is actually a small cave around the eastern side of this one uh, hill, and that's where the blood leads. Oh, that's fun. I know, right? Nice dark cave. Oh, yeah, you know. Good things happen. <laughs> I'm actually just going to move. Thing. So uh, you can inspect, you can do whatever you want, and we'll probably stop just as you all get around the cave so that Kelly doesn't miss too much. Okay. Um, so, can has I, it's. Can I mm -hmm. go ahead. cast Detect Magic? This is the best day! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing! Oh, uh, things that I said. Ah, uh. <laughs> like father, part of his Such a proud so papa. I'm a proud veteran here. Um, proud Bernie. I mean, no, not not in the vicinity, not near the cave entrance. It's a rough hewn cave. It looks like a natural cave into the hill. Um, this was not dug by hand. Just, just to make sure, if I cast uh, find traps, there's no, there are no traps around the entrance of the cave, right? Correct. Okay, find traps is gone. Okay. But the, the only traps I cannot find are like pitfalls. Yeah. So do you want to uh, try to peek in? I'm just gonna throw a rock in there. I'll like... throw an eyes of the grave now that we're here. Okay. No active undead. Okay. You do see a check. few bones scattered towards the front of the cave. Very, Bite mark. Ha very haphazard. Can More I blood. Cast light to uh -huh. see if there's, you know, just so we can see a little bit further into the cave. Oh yeah, absolutely. So I can give you that. You can kind of see a little ways ahead there. And this definitely, is so satisfying. definitely more blood. Um, there's a little bit of a rise here in the cave that you could kind of just step up onto. Um, but yeah, that's as far as you can see right now. Hmm. Hey, do we hear anything in the cave? Make a perception check. Anyone who wants to can. 22. Ooh. 18. Uh, 21. 20. Damn. 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 That's where we got a 16. Some perceptive motherfuckers. You're all on yeah, high alert because yeah, of the right. blood. Mm -hmm. um, water. You hear snow melting, water dripping. And way off in the distance, you hear someone go, oh, um, 
like someone groaning in pain. Oh, he's probably uh, fine. Totally fine, yep. I'm gonna push Vasilia <laughs> into like up against the wall of the uh, the me... cave and just be like, "All right, you stay here until we come back. If anything that is not one of us attempts to talk to you, rip its own arms off and beat them to death with it." Okay. Great. Okay. <laughs> All the combat stuff oh. around here. I'll get a Chewbacca for her later. Yeah, I mean she's just uh, yeah she's like six feet tall. I mean. And she is a zombie, so she has zombie strength. Like, flesh yeah, golem. I, she's a flesh golem. Yeah, so we are, yeah, I fully believe that if, like, a bear comes up to her, she will rip its arm off and beat it to death with it. <laughs> Make it I eat its own food. Yeah. yeah, I firmly believe that. Okay. I like those odds. Do you think, so. Arturus, can you change yourself into a smaller animal and maybe creep around, go to the, um, all the way to where the voice is? I can, yeah. Oh. Okay, I think that's I can, a good idea. I can be a mouse in some, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a spider, like, like climb up to the roof. Oof. Yeah. This no spiders. See what's happening? <laughs> no, no we can do spiders. They're fine. And there, uh, I can be a small spider, okay? Just a little teeny tiny small spider. <laughs> Just as long as we don't step on you, okay? Yes, you, <laughs> you have to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> you want to turn? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna be a small spider. Yeah. Okay. And you wanna you? I will reveal map as you kind of crawl along. You can use your marker for that, um, and just move along until we need to. Do you before, all want to uh, follow? Be no, before he goes, uh -huh. I cast message on him so he can relay yeah. a message. He's like our scout. Perfect. I like I like that. Uh, just gotta check something. I'm gonna give myself a uh, cat's grace before I do so. Okay. I don't take fall damage and I get advantage on dexterity checks. Nice. And then I'm just gonna like creep around okay. and just walk in there slowly and but surely. Yep. I I'm gonna stay on the roof if possible, like on the you roof. You can of the definitely cave, do so that. More blood um, leading north. Esmeralda is a pretty sneaky person, so she's going to kind of keep back a little bit. Um, okay. Yeah, you start to see rocks and rubble. Everything I see, I'm going to relate to the party. Got the it. Like, yeah. As you get closer, the groaning starts to grow louder. It sounds like someone, it's a male voice, and it sounds like he's in a lot of pain. I'm just uh come around this corner and see if I can spot him, hopefully. Hello, Toko. So there is a lot of rubble here. It looks like at one point the cave kind of collapsed and it's blocking your view, although as a small spider you could crawl through there. Or you can try to go around. I'm gonna try and crawl through there. Okay, so you crawl through, yeah, that's not an issue for you. And you do actually get into this area and you start to see, yeah, there is a man um, in, in like nice, not like noble clothes, but he's lying on a bedroll. He has a really ugly gash in his arm that's starting to kind of blacken at the edges. Looks like someone took a chunk out of him. His right leg looks broken. You can see bone. And there's a dead body here and several crates and a, a fire that was put out a long time ago. It's not even embers anymore, it's just ash. And the body looks like someone like ripped it apart and stuff yep. like that, like the one we saw before. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm, after that, we'll probably start crawling <laughs> upwards okay. there to see what's there and then go back. There's another room. Um, some more rubble that's collapsed, and I would say, because this leads down, this is an elevation here that leads down, so you would be able to see uh, into this kind of valley in the cave, if I can get the thing to work, uh, you do see a little bit there. Like well. a type of shrine? Or yeah. what is that? It's like some kind of statue you're not close enough to be really be able to see it but it's like a, a a statue of some kind that's got blood all over it and it's like like got bones scattered around it and there's jars and some kind of chest that's open 
Shrine of the White Sun, we found it. No. You found it! You did it! Good job! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, that's... Is... Can I... The way behind the shrine, is that also there or not? There's a the little bit of cave um, that ends in old spider webs. Cool, cool, cool. And I... Yep. So I just gotta crawl back and... Um, <laughs> okay. Rev turn myself back into a human and just, or like an elf and just lay everything that I saw okay. again to make sure every everyone understood it. And gotcha. Then... Mm -hmm. Alright. So, so we're just gonna have a great time. We'd have... Would it be a little difficult for us to go through the rubble or...? Yeah, I bet so. Yeah. Need to climb over and then around. Yeah, there's a way around here. You kind of have to go down here and then up here. Unless someone can stone shape. No. Not this cleric. Nope, uh, unfortunately. I'll just do it. Yeah, I I mean, Adam will, like, kind of clamor down, I guess, over to this level. Yeah, Esmeralda will come with you. We really should probably get him out of here. But yeah, what if he's a werewolf? We kill a fucking werewolf! I mean, if I he's... Can, I, can, I can cast hold person if he tries something. If he's here. that injured, he may not make it, but we could try. Well, yeah. I'm not gonna leave. Can anybody somebody cast to suffer. any kind of invisibility? I can. I can use ga a Gaz's form. I'm just yeah. She does. She has greater invisibility. Yep. If okay. all right, so um, if somebody invisibles us as a group. And then I cast silence on an object. Um, <laughs> we just slowly move together. <laughs> we will be an invisible mess. <laughs> it cannot be detected. Well, I mean, greater invisibility is only going to work on one person. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and it's only for a minute. Oh, uh, see, we could clamor over there in a minute. Silence is up to ten minutes, but yeah. just a thought. Just a thought. I'll save that for another. Okay. <laughs> well, let's do this while you all are trying to figure out what to do with this poor injured man. Um, let's go ahead and stop there. Okay. We will pick back up. So we're going to be playing uh, kind of in conjunction in June with Dralacon, which is run by our friend Joe Timmis. Um, like so many cons, they had to move online instead of being in person due to the pandemic. So that'll be June, four, uh, June 12th through 14th. We're playing on June 14th, same time, same place. And we will just be kind of playing along and supporting their mission to bring nerdy, geeky, fun gaming people together. So it'll be a good time. Um, so we'll pick back up here next time. All of the videos are available on twitch.tv slash terrible underscore party. Yes, we did change our name because we can't be the STDs anymore because that campaign's over. Bummer. Um, that, that gets me, like, I can't use my best joke now. It's like <laughs> horrible. Um, so yeah, all of that's available. All of our videos are backlogged. You can go into all the VODs. It is 188 hours of campaign. <laughs> Whoa. Who wants to watch that? <laughs> There's a lot there. So, um, yeah. So we'll pick back up here next time as you guys try to figure out what to do with this poor dude. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Next Saturday, I have we have got the pick back up of our Starfinder mini campaign, too. So that'll be fun. It's fun. It's fun. And I get to play, which is even better. I'm like, yay. I get to play. So we will see you all next time. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.